7.30pm tonight, we have the goodies. But before that, sit back and relax for an evening with the Thames Men. <laughs> oh, my name's Alex. I'm in Colorado. You had to think about that, didn't you? I did. <laughs> what were you? What were you going to say? If you didn't say Colorado, what were you going to say? San I'm Francisco. Alex in. Really, you were still going to yeah, say that? Yeah, yeah, really? well, I still, was there. still in there. Twenty years, I was nearly there. Really? Yeah. Uh, I'm George. I'm in Los Angeles. So. What's the best gig you've ever been to? I never, I've never asked you this, my friend. What is the best gig you've ever been to? Uh, we've been to a lot of good. I've been to a, a lot of good gigs. We've been to a lot of good gigs. I do remember, like, as the most one of the most epic adventures was that Who gig in Wembley Arena. We went to because there was a lot of adventure yeah. involved in it, and and then it was it was the Who before they got too old. They were still older, but they and and they played a most blinding set of music. So that was pretty special, I think. And that we also we were so how do we say it gently. Out of our fucking Relaxed. tree house. And we sat, we sat down and we were sitting there, you know, just trying to hold it together. And um, someone came up and said, wrong seats. And, so, and we looked at our number panicking and we, we went much further forward. Dude. We did. We were brilliant, wasn't it? And uh, that, was, that was great. I think then some of the, 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 the night of, uh, you know, uh, donuts. <laughs> that was pretty yeah, magic. Yeah, that was a big one. Uh, you know, I think it's, been, oh, it's hard to say. Which is your best gig? Um, spiritualized. Oh yeah, that's pretty special, isn't it? Yeah. yeah every yeah, time I see yeah. spiritualized, I just, I just like uh, they. I don't know. They just he. They just are a band you have to see live, and it's uh, it's just it's it's transcending. Uh, it's a collective audience participation that we all go on a journey with them. Yeah, you're right there. It is something very special when you see spiritualized. It is like going to church and being schooled, isn't it? You know, and but it, it, yeah. So, but you have to see them live. They really are. That's the thing to do, isn't it? So. Now, the band yeah. we're going to see today, I've seen. Right, it's Liam Finn. So that's the uh, son of Finn from um, uh, Crowded House. House. Yeah, Neil Finn. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I think it's Barnsley's daughter. Oh, really? I think okay. so. So I stumbled... Uh, no, nah, I didn't stumble. I think Chris, our uh, curator, sent it years ago, and I watched it. And then just the other week, and I was saying, Chris, what is that unflipping believable before? And he sent it to me again. I said, don't show George. George has got this. <laughs> so, I mean, we've got some notes. Should I read the notes? Do you want to read the notes? No, yeah, you read the notes. Give it a go. Yeah, give it a go. Give it a go. Yeah. Notes, notes aren't my uh, forte. Uh, <laughs> Leah Finn, son of Neil Finn, and Eliza Jane Barnes, daughter of Jimmy Barnes. Jimmy Barnes, eh? Jimmy Barnes. Knock my teeth out. <laughs> <laughs> Had been touring together for two years before putting together the EP Champagne in Seashells. This performance of their song showcases Liam's amazing musicianship as well as Ella. Jane's incredible voice. The two have an on-off again working relationship, depending on what other musical ventures their uh, their their uh, uh, musical ventures cross their paths, but certainly know how to put on the show. Now, this performance is fucking up there. As oh, really some as I just cannot fathom the balls of going on stage and trying to pull this off and they successfully pull it off on TV. Okay. Okay. All right. So this is 2008 and this is on Jules Holland where Jules Holland's show always brings the best out in people, doesn't it? You know, so, you know, it's, they have to step up their game to do a Jules Holland show. So, and for those uh, who don't know, we've mentioned this before, Jules Holland is our kind of, you know, our, our, our taste maker. He wasn't squeeze. He's a keyboardist, but he is a musician's musician. And what he does, he brings in all the bands, and they all go in a circle, and they all face each other, and it's uh, it's musicians trying to impress other musicians. There's no no hiding. So I mean, oh, you wait, you wait. I can't wait. I'm really excited to hear this, you know, because because we yeah, it, 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 yeah, it better it better live up to the expectations. So. All right. 
Are you ready? So it's oh. going gonna, gonna to come and take three seconds as the uh, program kicks in, but then we're going to be with Jules Holland. Three, two, one, boom. <laughs> Seeds, sow seeds to life. We're packing up to make it right. And all I need, and all I need to know, you're too proud to let it go. Remember me, well, honestly, I don't remember who you are. So it seems, and so it seems tonight You've got that wild look in your eye What do you need, what do you need to prove The woman that you turn to Remember me, well honestly I don't Remember who you are Has never been the best You want a second chance Want that to end? Neither did that I. Unfucking believable. That's amazing. There was like, what talent. I uh, I went. You know, I remember reading it, and I went and I looked at the first comment, and the first comment was, "I worked on the show and have done for, so for seventeen years, and I was ten foot away. This is still one of the best performances I've ever seen at fucking rocks." Oh, I can see that. That's saying something, you know. Just unbelievable and I, talent, and having the guts to do that live. Because when when you when you play live, you know, especially if you're doing something like Jules Holland, where all yeah. the musicians are watching you, you've got a yeah. tendency of going off quickly, and you're nervous. Yeah. 
he could so much could have fucked up on that, right? Because yeah, yeah. if anything went wrong, any bit of technical, you just got one little bit of loop wrong, it would have all fallen apart, and he fucking did it. Yeah, he amazing. I, he's a hell of a guitarist, you know. It that was really impressive, and like I, I mean, shows that the you know, talent is, can be a genetic thing, you know. That's amazing. Yeah, no, and her voice as well absolutely Can't brilliant great. and the way it just builds up and it just the way it just builds up and then and then it, and the, when he let loose on the drums ah oh, i was i was such a surprise i had no idea that was coming you know no idea that was, i was like that looks like the guy who was on the oh it's him <laughs> and then and then when you watch him on the drums uh and uh you watch the very final bit he is re- he's motoring at the fastest he can motor on that drums if you actually watch it, the very last bit, he's actually standing up off a seat to try and get uh, that last fill in. He's given uh, it everything. He's actually standing up playing drums. Yeah, just amazing. I would love to see more of their work together. You know, I would absolutely love to see more of what they could do together. If there is something out there, please let me know. Well, yeah. let us know, you know, because yeah. that was yeah. fantastic. I don't, I don't think we should score it. Oh, why not? I'm all right, score okay, that. okay. We've got to all score right, that. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, oh, it's time. You can't do that. All right, okay, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, it's time for scores. <laughs> right. That's a bit of crap start. <laughs> Welcome to the electronic scoreboard. All right, this is going to be really. I'm actually, because I've seen it before and I've gone to watch that track probably uh, in th- in three digits now. Um, you go first. <laughs> I loved it. Absolutely surprising, amazing live performance. Just fantastic. I, I've got to go big. I'm going 9 1, 9.1. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going to have the balls to do that. Mm-hmm. So much technically go wrong, and I love the track as well. And I love mm-hmm. their voices. They were, yeah, and I love the how he played guitar. The whole world. I'm going nine five. Oh, you! Yeah, God, I love scoring. it. It's that good. Uh, oh, so that's at eight, eighteen point six. Is that right? Oh, we nearly, nearly, nearly took out Leonard. Did we nearly? Yeah, nearly. Oh, it's, be- it's, it's, it's it beats NF Hope. Yeah. I, by the way, NF, I like everyone, anyone who's an NF fan. Sorry, I'll, do, I'll stick this here. Oh, look at that. Nice to get one up there, she said, to the, to, <laughs> to, to, to the vicar. Yeah, more sherry. Um, <laughs> talk about, anyway, sorry, I was going to get sidetracked. Oh, sherry and vicars. Um, the NF, NF, we did it, and it was a recent track. And then someone said, you've got to do the journey in the right order. Could someone send us the journey in what the right it? order? What is the journey? Where is it? It's like, because apparently his songs have to follow an order to make it like, a, they, they te- you'll see lots of references in the later ones because of what happened in the earlier ones. So if there's someone who's got like an easy to follow footpath for us, let us know. It'd be great. So anyway, and but back to this track. If there is any more Finn and Barnes combination we should do, especially live, because I think... Yeah, so good. I think so I think good. it got such a high score because they gave every drop of energy and they took every bit of balls to pull that off, um, and they deserved it. You know, I think I think it's it's, it's got to be. I I can imagine it's going to be a lot of people going, "Oh no, you cut that." It, it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea. That sort of thing for us, though. That that is a performance at its highest order. You mm, know what I mean? The, and it's, there was they put everything on the line. So much could have gone wrong and they did it so superbly well and the amount come on the amount of energy they gave everything in that track there there is there's a certain amount of um i think there's also something about a a male female duet which is really powerful when it's done right you know when 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 they sort of play off each other when there's a dialogue between them when there's a story sort of thing i i think it's a really powerful combination that rather than just sort of like harmonies or backings it's it's that kind of it's so good and maybe we like it so much because you're in the audio business you're in the music business and i was a musician so we both have come in knowing technically what they did you know yeah and it was like it was a tour de force yeah yeah yeah. i i just think about talk about some male female duets and stuff uh i went uh last what was it last year this year um to uh alison krauss and robert plant tour and i think it's out again and i went and saw it twice 
And I wonder if there's any video of one of their performances live somewhere we could do because, oh my God, they were an incredible pairing as really? well. So I yeah, have, absolutely. That, that whole thing has skipped me. I've got to get into it. I know it's there to dig into. Oh, it's so good. It, it, they were so. They did. They did a version of um, the Battle of Ev- Evermore or whatever. Oh really? Which which was just like folk slash country version, which was absolutely the most mind-blowing version I've ever heard. It was so good. Anyway, that's beside the point. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you're still here, pay the price. (laughs) Subscribe. Like, subscribe. You know the rules by now. Absolutely. And you never know, we could be doing uh, Krauss and Plant next, you know, but uh, that was an absolute, absolute treat for me. Excellent. And uh, thank you for our patrons. And if you'd like to join in, Join in, please. Come and join the patron group, and uh, we would uh, would love to see you online. See you on the flip side. See you on the flip side.